Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate six different ways in which you may enhance your online teaching, streams, and presentations. Note, all of the features I'm about to demonstrate can be performed live in real time and do not require any post-editing whatsoever. All of these features may be implemented using free and safe utilities available on the internet or via programs that I've written myself that I will make available for free. The first enhancement is the cursor highlighter. This is a lovely feature. To activate this enhancement, use the hotkey combination Control Shift F7. And as you can see, it puts highlight around the cursor. Now you can highlight whatever it is you're demonstrating and your audience can follow clearly along and see what it is you're referring to. Be aware for all of the enhancements I'm going to demonstrate, the hotkeys are user configurable. That means you can choose whatever hotkey combination suits you. Furthermore, with this enhancement, the size of the cursor highlighter and the color is completely user configurable as well. You can choose any size and from any color from 64,000 colors that suits you. The second enhancement is the cursor spotlight. I'm going to activate this enhancement using the hotkey sequence, Control Shift F6. As always, it's user configurable. And as you can see, it creates a spotlight around the cursor. Now I can focus my audience attention on one particular part of the screen. It's a really nice feature. Again, the size of the spotlight is user configurable. And indeed, the degree of transparency of the background is user configurable. Whether I want the rest of the screen to be all black or somewhat transparent, it's your choice to what degree you wish to configure that. To deactivate both the cursor highlighter and the cursor spotlight, simply press the hotkey combination control shift F5 or whatever hotkey you have pre-configured. The third enhancement is live zoom. This is a really nice enhancement. You may have to demonstrate for example, something that is quite small on your screen. For example, I'm going to open up a command prompt. And as you can see, it's quite small and the font is almost illegible, at least for a student or any person viewing your stream on a small laptop, a 13 inch laptop, that may be possibly illegible for them. Consequently, this enhancement, which I'm going to activate using the hotkey control four, and now, as you can see, it's zoomed in, so I can now type commands, and this is live in real time. I can demonstrate features. My audience can clearly see what I'm doing, and then when I'm finished, I can simply toggle by pressing Control 4 again, and it will zoom out. As always, the level to which I wish to zoom in is user configurable. I can zoom in 1.5 times, 2 times, 3 times, whatever. It's a really nice enhancement. The fourth enhancement is the countdown timer. Now, sometimes I teach a two hour or three hour session online. And often I will give my students a 10 minute break at various points throughout that session. To activate the countdown timer, I simply press control three. Again, that's user configurable. And by default, it's set to a 10 minute countdown. Of course, using the control and middle mouse scroll button in combination, I can increase the time duration or decrease the time duration. Sometimes, in fact, I ask my students to perform an activity and I give them two minutes to do it. And then I will be back. And it's fantastic. The students can clearly see exactly how long they have. And then we're all back on time and in sync. To exit this enhancement, simply press escape. It's a wonderful enhancement. The fifth enhancement is the drawing and typing overlay enhancement. So to activate this enhancement, I'm going to press control two and the cursor turns into a small cross icon. Now, if you're not sure what a cursor is, simply press spacebar, and the cursor will be placed automatically into the geographical center of the screen. Now I can simply press my left mouse button and I can draw whatever it is I wish to draw. By typing, for example, B, it'll change the color of the pen to blue. By typing G, it'll change the color to green, and so on. There are several additional colors I may choose from. To draw a straight line, I simply hold down Shift and left mouse button, and I'll draw a straight line. To draw a rectangle, I may wish to highlight a word or a phrase. Simply hold down Control, and with the left mouse button, I can highlight what it is I wish to highlight. To draw an arrow, press Control, Shift, and left mouse button. 
And as you can see, I can point to something. If I wish to draw an ellipse, I can simply hold down tab and with the left mouse button, drag my mouse and I have an ellipse. If I wish to erase the last drawing, simply press Control Z. And once again, Control Z and so on. If I wish to erase all drawings, simply press E. I can also type on the screen. By typing T, it turns the cursor to a long rectangular bar. And now I can type. So for example, I can type, say, deadline. Assuming my students had a continued assessment assignment due next week, I could say Monday at 10 p.m. as a nice way of giving a quick reminder. It's fabulous. I can also press Control S to save my screen as a PNG or a graphic format of my choosing. And yes, it's fantastic. To exit from this, I simply press Escape to exit from typing mode and Escape again will exit from the enhancement. It's a really, really nice enhancement. The sixth and final enhancement is the auto type text into the active window. This is one of my favorite enhancements. I'm a lecturer and educator and I teach computing and IT. Now, often I need to demonstrate a piece of code. So typically what I would do is I would simply type in my code, whatever I need to type, but I would find, just like you see me here now, I find that I'd be having typos and as I'm typing, I make mistakes. I'd have to go back and hit delete and so on. So what should only take two minutes can often take five minutes. The best case scenario is where I can simply type for two minutes, I can focus on what I'm typing, but then that leads to dead air time and it's not the most instructive for students. So instead what I've done is, for example, you can see on the left hand side, I have my notepad plus plus with my code already written out and prepared. Typically this would be on my second screen and this would not be shared with my students. And then on the right hand side, as you can see, I have, for example, Visual Studio Code. It's an IDE, but it could be any window whatsoever that accepts text input. And this window would be shared with my audience, with my students. Thus, to auto type code into this window, for example, all I have to do is highlight the code segment that will be on a separate window that's not shared with my students and press Control C, which will copy that into the clipboard and then on the program that I'm demonstrating to my students, I simply press the hotkey, which is user configurable, control alt P. And as you can see, it begins typing my code into the window. Now it's really nice. As it's typing, I can explain to my students exactly what the code is doing. It's a very pleasant and seamless experience for my students and an extremely pleasant and calming experience for me as a lecturer in that I can calmly explain and not worry about making any typos whatsoever. Furthermore, this is a really nice enhancement that I actually wrote myself, whereby it is aware whether your active window is a normal text editor or if it's a full-blown integrated development environment. You may ask, why does that matter? Well, integrated development environments are configured to automatically indent according to the type of code that you're entering. And that can mess up many autotype solutions that exist. The one that I've written will work with every IDE out there, regardless of whether it's set to auto indent or not and it will type it in correctly, as you can see what's happening right now. Also, at some point, you may actually want to stop typing. Now, it's almost finished, so I'll let that finish, but I'll quickly do that again, just to show you another feature. You may wish to auto-type a large segment, segment of code, so I'm going to do that once more, Control-Alt-P. It's auto-typing, but then, I don't know, a student may ask a question or you may want to stop typing. Now, the program will type until it's finished typing whatever you've put into the clipboard. Thus, to exit or stop the autotype at any moment, simply move your cursor to either the top left or the top right of the screen, and as demonstrated, it stops instantly. And then you can do whatever it is you wish to do. It's a really, really nice feature. I've just demonstrated six wonderful enhancements that I believe will greatly improve your online teaching, streaming, and presentations. All of these enhancements may be implemented using freely available safe utilities from the internet or using free and open source code that I've written myself. Note, all of these enhancements are only available for the Windows operating system, namely Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 and later versions. If you would like to use 
any of these features in your own online teaching streams and presentations, please like my video and leave a comment on my video stating exactly those features you're interested in and that will send a clear signal to me to go ahead and make a short video tutorial series demonstrating exactly how you can implement these features in your own online teaching and presentations. Please ensure to subscribe to my channel so that you're automatically notified when I upload the next video in this video tutorial series. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.